good. All right, let's begin. It should be recording. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right, take your seats. We'll start with just a few breaths. So sit however you want to sit. Enjoy a space. Sit with the high chest. So really lift the heart up nice and high. Um, and feel free, even if you want to, just to place your hand on the heart. If not, bring the hand onto your thighs and focus on the warmth of your hands on the body. Take a few deep breaths. And just taking moments to come into class. As you breathe out, allow there to be a kind of audible breath, the Ujjayi breath, like you're pressing at the back of the nose and throat. Take a deep breath in. It's called lion's breath, but we'll just use the mouth. You open the mouth and exhale wide mouth. Deep breath in. Wide mouth. One more time, deep breath. The length in the back of the neck. Ear to side shoulder. And then the other ear to the side shoulder. Come back into neutral and again feeling the warmth of the palm on your leg and see if it can travel. Focus on the warmth of the palm. And it feels like it's heating the legs. Maybe even transferring to the knees, the hips, calves. Well done, take a deep breath in. Just side away. And start to move, so come on to your all fours and pull back into child pose. And just allow child pose to be your first opening mobility stretch. You can put some music on over here. I'm going to try and find some length and energy into the side body. So bring one hand by the calf, the other hand across the mat, and find a nice big side stretch. And change sides. Swapping hands, reaching across the mat, finding the side reach of the body. And take a deep breath in, rising into arms straight forward and come through cat stretch and then pull the chest forward, lift the body up. Then fall back through cat stretch, arching the spine and then the hips towards the feet. Inhale, rises you. Exhale, lands into the stretch. Breathe in as you rose through the spine. And then exhale when you land back. And just keep that going in your own breath. 
rhythm. So you can bring up pace or you can take it slow. One more time. And when you're ready, tuck and rise to your downward dog. So let your feet be hip width. Let your soles of the feet draw toward the ground and press towards the ground with your hands. So really pushing with what's on the ground and elevating in the tail. Feel free to have a little wiggle. Feel free to walk the dog, sway the dog. Good job. Come to the tiptoes. Walk onto the tiptoes. So staying in the position you're in, but just take the feet off the ground. And then walk them up the mat. When you can't be tiptoes anymore, find your flat feet and knees bent, tuck chin. Allow the body to take wherever it wants. If you want to hug the knees, Find length in the back of the legs wherever you can. And turn the body to one side. So that you're actually twisting a little bit through the body in the forward fold. And then the other side. Finding your center. And rise to stand. Take a deep breath. Reach up. And bring your hands down. All right, let's go with the flow. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees forward, fold. Pull that back, find length, breath in. Exhale, forward, fold. Right leg step, big step in, chest up. Exhale, down dog, push away. Come through to plank, breathe in. Lower, breathe out. Start with just a baby cobra. Squeeze the bum, lift the chest. And when you exhale, down dog. Take your right leg and lunge it through to the hands and lift your right arm for a twist. Land the hand and step into a forward fold. Exhale. Rise to the roof, breathe in. And straight back down, exhale. Flat back, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Left leg, big step, breathe in, lift the chest, drop the hips. Exhale, pull back, down dog. Huge breath in to plank. Breathe out, lower. Keep your body strong and steady. You can take the cobra or lift to up dog, breathe in. Pull back, breathe out. Left leg steps, big steps to drag it through if you need to and twist, lifting the left arm. Land the hand, stepping forward fold. Inhale, rise. And exhale all the way down. Find length in your back, breath in. And fold. Step right leg, big breath, find length. Push away, breathe out. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Breathe into your back bend and pull back with down dog. Take left, voila. Which foot are we on? I was thinking about Sada. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if she's out in the car park. Should I check? And I don't know what foot I'm on. Right leg, let's go with right leg. Lift the right arm. Take a deep breath. And then step forward, fold. She just came in my mind and I'm like, what, what leg am I on? Deep breath in. Exhale, forward, fold. Take left foot, breathe in, open the chest. 
Push away, breathe out. Inhale, come through to plank. Exhale, lower. Find the breath in up the body. And exhale, down and back. Left leg step, breathe in. Lift the left arm and twist. Find the forward fold, breathe out. Then to rise. And reset. Good. I could see people, you see. And then I was like, I wonder if she's still, because Sandra paid and booked online and I expected to be here, with so I was a bit worried about him. Okay, so let's do a moon salutation. So that's the sun to get a bit of heat. So this one I'm going to do so I can face you and you at the same time. I'm going to turn my mat that way. And you might want to angle a little bit, so that's it. So a little bit more square. You're okay where you are, aren't you? Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're going to be this way more. Perfect. Good. Okay, so I'd like you to stand to the side of your mat. That's perfect. So we're on this edge. Perfect. Now take a deep breath in. I'm a little bit further away. Good, take a deep breath in, reach up, bring your hands to prayer, and exhale. Inhale, side bend to the left, sorry, right, and take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, push down both feet and reach a little bit higher. Step wide with your right foot, bring your elbows towards your ribs, and squeeze open the chest. Sing into a triangle, left heel, right foot, lengthen. When you're there, land the shin, another hand high. Drop the back knee, take a deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, hips to floor, chest up to the ceiling. Pyramid, hands to the floor, lift the back foot to a flat position. And draw straight legs, head down. Bend right knee, face me, and take a side lunge. Exhale, get a length through the left leg. Inhale, creep across to the other foot. Exhale, ease the inner thigh. Drop the right knee on the ground, take a deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, lower the hips and reach the sky. Inhale, land the hands, step back in to pyramid, straight legs. Breathe out, relax the head and shoulders. Left hand to shin, open to triangle, breathe in, reach up. As you exhale, find length. Inhale, reach all the way up, find height. And exhale into the squat. Step to the right side of your mat. And reach to the right. Take a deep breath. And find center. Other way. Reach lengthening over your left side. And as you reach out, step wide. Round two. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Pull the hands back. Left side, triangle. So put all the weight to the left. Straight legs. Pressing down through the feet. Take a deep breath and go a little lower. Great. Drop the back knee, so the right knee on the ground. Breathe in, arms up. Exhale, lower. Reach to the sky. Inhale, hands down, pyramid. Stepping the hips back. Both legs are grounded. Legs are straight if you can. Side lunge left. Pivot to the front of your mat. Find the edges. Good. And really exhale into the depths of that inner thigh. Breathe in as you change side. Deep breath out. Hips low. Drop the left knee. Take a deep breath in. Reach up. Sink the hips into the right leg. Good. Inhale, pyramid. Hands down. Hips up. Exhale, head down. 
Inhale, triangle, hands to shin, reach up, breathe in. Find the really long body as you breathe out. Reach through to squat, breathe up. Bend the knees, squeeze away and breathe out. Stand to the left of your mat. Find the left side of your body, reach. And in side center, breathe in. Other side, right, exhale. Take a deep breath, step wide squat, draw knees wide. Good. Inhale, triangle, right side. This time, a little harder if you want, take the arm to ear, lengthening the whole body. Good, bend the back knee, reach up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, hands to floor. Step back into pyramid, head down as you breathe out. Take into the side lunge, breathe in. And then find an exhale. Inhale, sweeping across. Exhale as you lower the hips. Drop the right knee, breathe in, reach up. Sink your hips down, breathe out. Pyramid, take a deep breath. Find length as you breathe out. Left hand to shin, triangle, breathe in, open. If you want more, arm extends to ear. And we find extension, exhale. Both arms reach up, find your center. And exhale, squat, squeeze the shoulder blades, knees wide. Sit to the left, reach to the left, breathe in. Find your center, breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Well done, take your same wide squat, draw down, elbows into the body. We're going to the left, to so turn to the left, triangle, last round. Take the arm to ear. Good job. Bend the back knee, take breath up, sink low. Inhale, hands to floor, pull back. Head down, exhale. Bend the knee, take a deep breath, left side. If you want a little more, you can take this one, but the heel should be flat on the leg. Walk across, deep breath in. Right foot flat, left heel if you wish. And then turn into your lunge, deep breath in. Sink your hips, breathe out. Pyramid, hands down, lift the chest towards the foot and then extend the hips back down the mat. Pyramid is coming to triangle, so hand to shin, revolve, reach up. Arm to ear, take a big exhale. Good job, finding a reach as you stand up. And squat as you exhale. Stand in to the center of the mat. Take a deep breath in. Reach up. Exhale left. Inhale high. Exhale right. Inhale high. Prayer to heart. Exhale. Well done. This is almost as if I mapped it to that piece of music, wasn't it? I was like, should I just claim that? I, I did that. It took me hours to get that. <laughs> For those of you online, the music was just stopped exactly where it should have done, like a Les Mills bit. It was just brilliant. <laughs> I didn't choreograph that. Ah, hilarious. Right, so let's do some standing work, which will enhance that work we've just done. So the first is to take the right side warrior two. So have your feet super wide, push down the left foot and check it's on a corner angle. Right knee open and hip square to the front. Arms wide, 
shoulder blades together and deepen if you can. Correct. So this left leg, the thigh will be going towards the floor, but we're trying to open it without the knee coming forward. So there's a nice juggle between getting the right space and hips open. Take a deep breath. As you sink, come a little lower. Good job. Reach for length and come down into extended warrior. So with the extended warrior arm to ear, the hand can be on the inside of the knee to keep it back. And the option to bring elbow to thigh. Draw belly in and tuck tail under to keep alignment with the spine. And deep breath. Good job, reach up, come to warrior one, which is turning the body and this back foot steps wider, heel away, arms overhead. Good, so you can always take that back leg just a little bit further to the edge of the mat. You've got more room to turn the hip. Well done, reach wide. Take your chest up, squeeze your shoulder blades and the arms or thumbs are towards the back. Keep your hands behind you. Lean your chest forward towards your right thigh. Now really sit into the right thigh. When you're ready, weight shift and lift left leg. Warrior three, find squeezing glute in the standing leg and squeezing glute to lift the back thigh. Now the back is coming with us, knee to chest. Hold the knee with your left hand and reach with your right arm. Good job. If you can, left hand, through big toe and extend a straight leg. So the left foot is high, the grounded foot, strong right leg. If you can, take the leg wide to the side now and find the height right up into the crown. Taking the knee behind you. It's called flower. And we take a bit of a pivot as we extend it back. Squeeze the hips forward and bring the shin all the way into the palm and the palm to the shin. So there's that energy of holding it. Hold on to the foot from the inside edge of the ball of the foot, the big toe, and come to dancer. Find extension. Good. With that long body, keeping extension as big as you can. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, step back and lunge. Take a deep breath in and just bend the the right knee. Well done, find center, take a deep breath up. Exhale, hands to hips, forward fold. Woo, well done, you guys. Let your upper body hang. When the time's right for you, stand up with a deep breath in. Good job. You're going to do everything on the other side. So turn the left foot. Take the right leg back. So I'm different leg to you because I'm facing different ways. So it's your left knee that's bent and your right leg at the back. Turn the hips enough. And then see if we can open to that warrior two. We should sit into warrior two. Open arm, knee back, thigh back, 
and tail under. So this is where it's getting lots of conditioning through the group strength, lower back and core. Long, deep breath. Relax as you sit back down. Good, nice. I can see you on body balance soon, Natalie. <laughs> In this half a style class is body balance style today. Good, when you're ready, Shift long, find your extended warrior, find pressure down both feet and reach the upper body, find length and open. Good. Draw the hips a little lower, knee a little bit more bent. There you go. Good. Come to warrior one, arms overhead, adjust the back foot and let the hips come through. We've got the hips towards the front knee. Back heel is the furthest thing. And arms just resting above shoulders. Nice strong long arms, but no pressure in the shoulders. Good. Take a deep breath, let the arms come wide. Thumbs are back, chest is up, squeeze into the glutes. When you're ready, keep the hands behind you. Take a deep breath, chest comes forward. Bend the knee to strength work in that front leg. Good. When you're ready, you're lifting the back leg. So step through and lift your right thigh. Warrior three, strength and poise. Stand, bring your left, your right leg through, hold the knee. Good job. Then when you're ready, reach for the foot and see if you can extend the leg. We want to find height through the crown, then height through the arms and legs. Option to open, taking a side length. Reach strong, open the whole body. Use the back glute, the back of the shoulders, abdomen tight. Holding the knee, the shin, take it around the back and then press the energy away. So heel to hip, knee pushes down the mat. And hips are pressing open to the front of your body. Coming into dancer, move the left hand so that you are balanced reaching. Right hand is inside the big toe. And push the foot into the hand, the hand to the foot. And find a stretch. Big opening circular feeling behind you. Well done. Step it all the way back and find the height of your lunge. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bend the knee. Reach your upper body, climb through the ribs. And then find center. Deep breath in, hands to hips. Exhale, forward fold. Let your head hang. Now the breathing to calm. Take a deep breath and run. Well done. Stand your feet and give your legs a rest. How are we doing? All right? Yeah? Feel good? <laughs> good. Online, okay? Yeah? Perfect. 
All right, so let's do it again one more round, but it won't be as long. So the breath is in and out um, of the pose, and then we have a breath in the pose, and then we're off. So sometimes when we slow things down in balance, it's a little easier because we've got more time for transfer. But this one will challenge you in not the length of time, but in the transition. So when you're in the pose and you get there and then you have to go to the next one, it's about focusing on what is stable, where the strength is coming from to help the pose be what it is. And when we wobble, we wobble. It's just the way it is. <laughs> All right, so step wide. Let's go to the right. So turn your left heel, turn your right foot, bend the knee. Take a deep breath in to open. Take a deep breath out to sink. And one breath in, one breath out. Next pose, inhale, extension. Exhale, find the hips are down. One breath in the pose. Good job. As you come up, warrior one, find the extension of the knee at the front. Back heel down, hips square. One breath in. One breath out. Arms wide. Inhale, open. Pull the elbows and the thumbs back. As you exhale, squeeze down the back leg. And one breath in the pose. And exhale. Shift chest forward. Take a deep breath in. Squeeze your shoulder blades a bit more. Exhale. One breath. Then we're off. Lift the back leg. Take an inhale to rise it, and exhale to balance it. And then find the pose breath. Knee to chest. Find an inhale to get there. Exhale, steady your body. Inhale, climb to the foot, to reach to the toe if you can, and lift the leg. One breath. Open, inhale to open, exhale to ground. Then one breath. Collect the shin, take it around the back, inhaling. And push away, exhale. And one breath. Good job. Take the leg around into dancer. So hold inside the left foot. Squeeze up as you go, breathe out. And then one breath. Good, lunge, step down the mat, breathe in. Breathe out, come lower. Inhale, rise the upper body. And exhale a little more. Good job, come through center, take a breath. And as you exhale, full fold. Rise again, inhale up, exhale turn, warrior two. So left knee bend, right heel out, arms long. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Extension, breathe in to go, exhale to sink, and one breath. Good job. Find warrior one, so arms up, adjust your feet. When you get there, one big breath. Arms wide, breathe in. Squeeze the arms back, breathe out. Inhale, chest forward, arms back, big exhale. Now weight shift, inhale, lift the left, right leg, breathe out, find your balance, and then one breath. Good, knee to chest, inhale to lift it, exhale to steady. Inhale, climb to the foot, reach and extend as you exhale. One breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, settle, one breath. 
Hold the shin, take a deep breath, take it around the back. Big exhale, in one breath. Good job. Dancer, hold the inside of the foot. Take your breath, push your foot to the ceiling. And one breath. Good, step down the mat. Take your lunge, breathe in and breathe out. Good job, hands to hip. Turn side, breathe in as you fold, breathe out. So the natural breath come and go. And rise to standing. Well done, step in, relax the legs. Good job. So you're gonna come to the floor. <laughs> Take your time, I'm just gonna turn the mat slightly more. Good. And then take yourself to the middle of your mat. Good. All right. So as we roll back, just roll back onto the body. Let your body rest for a second. And bring your knees in and come to happy baby. So holding the soles of the feet. Taking that it feels nice and relaxed for the lower back. I'm just getting those knees nice and wide. We're going to do a seated forward fold and a seated side fold. So I just wanted to give your back a little bit of a moment to adjust. Bring your feet together, bring your knees together, give them a hug. If you like to, lift the chest off the ground, give yourself a big ball hug. And then roll to seated however you wish. Take the legs wide. Pull the hips back so if you've got um, the block like that one um, and you want to sit on it behind you feel free with bricks you can do the same with the brick if you want to this is a little higher the, the flatter blocks are a bit better and it just allows you to sit on the edge of the block so the block should almost be starting to come off at the back and when you're ready just allow the self to extend if you can reach for the toes feel free and then just allow the chest to come forward where it's possible. And treat it like you're allowing the body to do this. But there's a sense of give and take from you and the body. Use a deep breath. And as you use the exhale to your advantage, relax the frowns, relax the jaw, relax the shoulders, relax the body, and see if it will just give you a fraction more. And take a deep breath in. Slowly rise about halfway. Reach for the right foot however you want to along the shin or for the toe. 
reach your left shoulder back and then take it across and over. What we're doing here is we're asking both hips to stay grounded, the spine to take a long side stretch. Good, and breathing as we go. Reach the left arm to the ceiling as you come up, take a height. And then reach across to the left foot, take the right arm behind you, and then side bend. Using energy in the body to create space, trying not to reserve the breath in restriction of the stretch. And take a breath when you're ready, reaching up to the ceiling, keeping height in the whole body, and then let the hand come down. Do the same with the legs more together. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, walk the hips back and chest forward towards the feet and just tuck the chin. Relax. Get as much ease in the body as you can. When you're ready, releasing, take a deep breath up and just bend the knees. Give the hamstrings a little recovery. Good job. Then coming onto the ground, so take a deep breath in, roll back, bring the knees with you, just hold them. And do the same as what we just did with the wide leg, but with your body on the ground. So if you were holding the toes, you um, then great. If you're not, then you might do here. Um, it's different. But if we don't hold the toes, we're holding the inside leg or the outside of the thigh. We're never pushing or grabbing or trying to force the body because that builds resistance and resistance is then against relaxing to flex. So you always want to be as relaxed as possible. Encouraging the body, but not forcing it. Bend the knee and take one leg over the top. So I'm going to take my left leg over my right leg and then the knees go to the right. That's it. And then relax the shoulders down. You can hold with the nearest hand on the right side and the left arm reaches up and away.
Take a deep breath, lift the knee, extend the knees into the chest, cuddle in if you wish, lift the head and find that same ball position. Let's go the other way. So this time, right leg over left. And then the knees go to the left. The left hand supports the knee. The right arm reaches up and away. And we just find a sense of recovery for the back. Rotation for the middle of the waist. A release in the shoulders. Good for digestion. And relax the tension in the shoulders. Relax the tension anywhere through the whole body. And we're just noticing the stretch. Bring yourself into neutral when you're ready. Lifting the knees. Give them a hug. And feel free to again lift the chest if you wish. Feet down. And the last stretch is like on the Outside of the hamstring and the adductor, so you take the left foot up and give it to the right hand. And then squeeze your inner thighs toward each other and turn the foot toward the floor. That's it. And then just allow that stretch to come down the side of the ankle, calf, the back of the hip, wherever the tension may be. In the knee, place it down and swap. So lifting right leg, give it to left hand. Squeeze your thighs toward each other and turn the right foot down to the ground. The toes are pointing downwards. Notice the stretch through the calf, side of the shin, ankle, knee, wherever the tension is, all the way to the hip. And bend the knee, bring the knees to the body for the last time. And 
And then relax. Feet down. Arms wide. Deep breath. And taking time to relax. If you feel the need to adjust to any position that's comfortable for you. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Feel the support of the mat. Feel the support of the ground. And just rest. Use deep breath into the body. And use the breath as the body's language to relax further. Really let go of the exhale. Let go with the exhale. Do your best to keep your focus on the easing of every exhale. Now focusing on the inhale. Notice the light, spacious chest and draw in a sense of focus for the day. How do you want to enjoy today?
How do you want your state of mind? And how do you want your energy? For most of how we feel is a choice in the mind. Make a choice and find an easy route. No ifs and buts. Make an agreement with yourself. Make a commitment with you. This is how you feel today. And when the time's right, take a deep breath to awaken the body back into Wednesday morning. Stir the body however you want to, making movement, adjustment, reshaping. Draw the knees to the body whenever you're ready. And to the side whenever you're ready. Find seated when you're comfortable to do so. Take a deep breath. Take the prayer above the head. As you exhale, bring to the third eye. The promise you made, the way you want to feel in your energy, in your body, in your thoughts. Make it happen today. Nothing gets in the way. Take a breath, bring in front of the mouth. As you exhale, even say, I feel good today. I feel happy today. Whatever it is that's yours. Take a breath. Bring to the heart. Tuck your chin. Be kind to your body. With love. Namaste. Good job, everybody. You're welcome. Well done. Have a super day.